a ship has enough food supply for 600 passengers for three days. How long would it last for 200 passengers uh, and one uh, 50 passengers? If the if the food on the ship on, only lasts for two days, how many passengers are on board? Okay, so let's. Uh, this is an example of uh, inverse proportion. So let me make up two columns. One is for passengers. One is for passengers and days. Okay, so what's what is the information that we have? It's given that for 600 passengers, we got enough food for three days. Now the question is, if there are 200 passengers, it will last for how many days? That's the question. Okay. Now logically, let's think about it. This, if there are less people, will it would it last for more days or less days? So I think you can understand the logic behind it. If the if it lasts, if there are less people, the number of days should be more. Okay. So this is 200. Is how much? Or how many times 600 or there are how many lots of six uh, 200 in 600 so well there are three lots of 200 in 600 so we can, well, I, I can say 600 divided by 3 gives you 200 so if this is if this is one third of 600 this should be three times okay so you have to multiply this by three okay so yeah, so you, the answer is nine days. It will last for, last for nine days. Or to explain this in a different way, uh, logically, suppose if there are, let me explain in a different way. Before doing this question, suppose uh, say if there are uh, say three hundred people. If there are three hundred people, I hope you understand. This is half of this. So if there are 300 people, this would last for six days. Okay? That means if this is dividing by two, if this 300 you get by dividing by two, you get this six by multiplying by two. And that's why this is an inverse proportion. When this is decreasing, this, this will increase in the same proportion. So if this is half, this will be double. So or in a different way, if you think about this, if you multiply passengers, I'll write P times D. P for passenger and D for days. So 600 times 3 is, 600 times 3 is 1800. Okay. And 300 times 6 is also 1800. So in an inverse proportion example, the product of the... Uh, variables will be constant. So this is 1800. Sorry. So let me change the question now. The question was uh, the question was if there are 200 passengers, if there are 200 passengers, it will last for how many days? Okay. So here the answer is so this is divide by 3, 600 divide by 3 is 200 so 3 you have to multiply this by 3 okay so the answer is 9 here okay so again the next question if it is there are 150 people okay so again let me make okay this is playing up okay okay so passengers and days we know for 600 passengers it lasts for three days. Now the question is, if there are 150 passengers, it will last for how many days? So now you have to think, this is how many times of this? Okay, of one, 150 goes in 600 how many times? That is 150 times, 150 times 4 is 600. So you have to divide this by 4. So 600 divided by 4 is 150. So as this is an inverse proportion, here you have to multiply by the same number. So that 12 days, this will last for 12 days. Okay. I want you to do this question. 
uh, yourself. Okay, look at this question, and uh, this will be something that you can do. I'll read the question. A farmer has enough hay to feed eight horses for two days. How long will the hay last for two horses? Question A and 32 horses.